Hello, 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 it's Nits for Sanity, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for popping in. I hope you stick around for a little while, and if you have been here many, many times before, thanks for coming back. I'm always so happy to have you. So today I have a quick little unboxing for you from our friends over at gbfke.com. They are a budget-friendly craft company and they reached out to me again asking if I would be willing to select a few items that I liked and would share with you and I said sure I would love to do that. Um, and if you are familiar with me you know that I am definitely concerned about independent artists receiving um, compensation for their work and I guess not just independent artists, but, you know, artists in general. And so if I can select the pieces from these places, then yes, I am very happy to work with you because I do understand that a lot of us are on very tight budgets. And so, you know, these budget-friendly companies, I do believe, have a place within the crafting community. And so today I have selected a few diamond art crafts as well as one additional item that's a little bit of a surprise, if I remember correctly. So let's dive right in. So this first item, if you saw my last unboxing from GBFKE, I selected a fall or autumn little special drill painting. And I wanted to kind of stick with that because that painting did turn out really very cute. And so I kind of wanted to see about getting a holiday, a Christmas themed one. And so I chose this. This is super sweet. This is, oh look, I just noticed here we have little elf feet down here on the bottom of this mug. This looks like this could be like a hot cocoa beverage maybe i see a straw this looks like some kind of a frozen maybe it's a frozen hot cocoa um here we got elf legs sticking out from the top of the mug i'm not quite sure how that works <laughs> um but really cute you know this straw is decorated with a little elf straw marker we have some bobbles down here looks like a large lollipop peppermint lollipop up here we even have a little lantern down here in the corner. I am a sucker for Christmas lanterns. Um, this is really, really cute. Let's go ahead and we're going to take a measurement. Um, my guess is like most of the time, this is 30 by 30 centimeters if you do the whole canvas. And typically the actual image is indeed smaller than that. So all I have to do now is find my measuring tape which fortunately I did keep it in a pretty accessible spot. Sometimes I don't. So to measure the actual image size, yes, it is 25 centimeters across and it is a little bit bumpy here. Probably 25 centimeters both ways. Um, it's a little hard because I can't get it to like quite flat. You know, actually I I would say it is probably about a half a centimeter shorter this way, vertical, than it is horizontal. And eyeballing it, that's how it appears to me in person too. So it might be just slightly off from a perfect square. Um, that is, I mean, that doesn't bother me. That is of no concern to me at all. Um, and it is, of course, it is a partial drill painting, which means that not the whole thing is covered in drills. Instead, you just highlight a few areas. And in this case, it looks like we do mostly outlining of these images. So down here, like this bobble, you just have some outlining, outlining on the lantern here. Um, there are a couple places where we do have closer to a full drill approach, like the foam that is in this drink right here. That is full of crystals there. Um, and it is a special drill canvas. So in this case, that means that we are looking at mostly a bunch of lovely crystals, but we do have a couple other unique ones in here as well. So I am going to pull out to this sleeve of drills so we can look at it a little bit more closely. So as we can see from our legend, we have 11 colors or different types of drills. It's, it's you know, with these partials and special drill canvases, I, it's hard to say colors really because usually you're looking at different types of drills. 
And as is the case with most of these smaller kits, they are not, there's not a DMC code. Instead, they just use like a number system, like here, one, two, three. This one stays just one through 11. Sometimes they'll introduce some letters of the alphabet. Um, but here are all of our gorgeous colors. Red and green, another type of red more green <laughs> um definitely very holiday looking and then here the last three are your other types of drills so here we have a gold ball this one is like really fun this is like a larger red a b round drill is kind of how i think to describe it it's really really pretty i like that one a lot and then we have some of these like marquee shape and again this is not like a white crystal this is like a again almost like an ab crystal or maybe even like an opal but it is definitely like a multi i mean it's very 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 pretty so these drills are super fun really really pretty the canvas itself, again, you know, this is a budget company, but the canvas is thick. And in fact, it is, I believe it is thicker than the canvas for the little autumn one that I got last month. So this one actually may have a better result in the end. Um, last month still looked absolutely fantastic when it was done and I really, really enjoyed it, which is why I wanted another one. But because the canvas was a little thin, when I put the sealant on, and I did need to use a sealant, um, there were a couple of spots on the canvas that because the canvas was thin, you could see that the sealant had been applied there. From a distance, you can't tell, and it still looks amazing. Um, but this canvas does feel to me like it is a little bit thicker, and so that might not even be an issue this time around. Um, you do have legends on both sides of this canvas, as well as a little bit of image up in the corner. Um, cute. Very, very cute. So I'm super excited to get this one done and share it with all of you. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. This is, wow. All right, this is larger than I was expecting. Right now, you're probably looking at it going, well, what is it? <laughs> These are bookmarks. Um, they are corner bookmarks. So let's take these out. You have just a little bitty toolkit, and I did get one with the last package too that I just forgot to show you. They are, I mean, identical. You have a little bitty drill tray, um, just a basic pen, some wax in here. I will go ahead and I'll check and see with one of these waxes if it is what I call dead wax, which just means that it's pretty dried out already. And this is not. This is fully pliable. This is very usable wax. So if you are brand new to diamond painting and you do not have any wax available at your house right now, um, this is everything that you would need in order to complete any of these kits. And they are provided for you. I happen to have ample amounts of all of these types of things and I've started saving the green trays sometimes they're white um for our local elementary school to use as many little paint dishes for the art teachers so I will be pulling those out and I'll put those separate all right so these are bookmarks and truthfully I was expecting something quite a bit smaller than what this is like probably a good half inch taken off from you know two sides of this was the size that I was anticipating. So these are quite a bit bigger than what I thought. And I will lay them out for you and then I will grab a book and show you how they are intended to be used in case you are not familiar. I mean, they're so big. I'm gonna struggle being able to show you all eight and frame. Then we have this one and this one. So eight different bookmarks. Um, they are indeed all individual. So even ones that look quite similar are not. You know, these two look pretty similar, but then when you look carefully, you see that they are not. So they are all unique snowflakes, which is so fun because 
as you know, every snowflake is unique. And so every snowflake bookmark is also unique. Um, that's just a little bitty touch that somebody somewhere thought of and I appreciate it. All right, let me grab a book. All right, I have a Paul Auster dual novel here. Um, if you're not familiar, he's a, a pretty spectacular writer. Um, definitely not leisurely reading though. So, um, but what you do, and that's why I thought these would be smaller is I feel like for a book like this, this bookmark is almost overwhelming, but you put it on the corner just like that. And then that is your bookmark. So these would make lovely gifts. Um, Liz Harrison at Scotty Dog Craft, she had a brilliant idea that I heard over a year ago now about using things like this for school fundraisers or, you know, a club fundraiser. Um, but yeah, that's what you do with these. And again, these are all special drills. So they are going to look so awesome when they are done. And because these are all quite unique for several different shapes. I'm going to open up this package as well and we will look at it more closely together. Now it should be noted there is no legend or anything like that that comes with this kit but it is not needed. As you can see each bag is labeled here is a number one so anytime you see if I can find one here we go. So anytime you see a one on a bookmark that is where you will put down that drill this bookmark also has the letter C on here. So anytime you see a C as well as the letter A and K, and that is how you would do this kit. A legend is not required. But they are all pretty much these, a blue or a blue themed drill. So here's one blue crystal. Here is a lighter blue crystal. Here is a very similar crystal to, in fact, maybe exactly the same as our last kit, just larger. Yeah, I think those are exactly the same. It's just this bookmark kit. These are larger. Um, again, very similar, different shape. Very similar again. Um, slightly larger yet. Yeah, these are even larger than these. Oh, look at how, oh, look at these. Those are so pretty. These are like a white, silvery star. I mean, those are really pretty. Wow. Here's a large round blue. Here, oops, got stuck there. Here we have a few little bitty stars. So where do we use these stars? That is symbol O. I'm just kind of curious. What has stars on it? You guys probably see it. Oh, here we go. So here's like an O. So stars go on the edge of these. Oh, that is going to be so pretty. Do you guys see that anywhere else? Or is this the only one? I think this is the only one that's going to use that drill. That's really cool. And then here we have like some really clear blue, like Caribbean looking water teardrops. Here's some lighter blue, kind of an AB coating to those. And white, very similar to these, just a little bit smaller, and obviously white. And then another light blue teardrop crystal. Kind of more of an aquamarine, actually. There is definitely a green tinge to that. Super fun. Um, I love these crystals. I love the variety of shapes in there. These are really quite lovely. Like I said, they are larger than what I thought, and that's not all bad. I mean, yes, it looked a little bit overwhelming in my little soft cover book there, but the flip side of that is you're not going to lose them. If these corner bookmarks get too small, they don't stay on the page. This is going to sit and stay in your page. So that is definitely a benefit. There is a question that I do have. Yeah, so... The one thing that I do notice about these, and it may not be an issue, it may just rip off real easy, but the plastic coating on here, or not coating, but the plastic top that you have to remove is stitched into each bookmark. So it, it has the possibility of maybe leaving a little bit of um, messiness 
that you might need to pull out some extra plastic pieces in order to get a clean sewn edge here, which, you know, a pair of tweezers, if that is the case, would not be an issue. Typically, though, I have found, like I said, I don't want to do it just because I don't want to ruin the integrity of the glue under here. Um, but what I have often found is usually when it is sewn in like this, it often just rips out really easy, especially with a nice thick sew job, which this is. This is double threaded. I don't know if you can see that, but it is double threaded sewn in there. So it is a really thick sewing job that has been done. So I suspect the plastic will not be an issue when I tear that away. I am really actually very impressed with these. I'm quite excited. Um, and now I'm trying to think like, huh, maybe everyone in my family needs a bookmark for Christmas, right? <laughs> this one I'm kind of curious about. Uh, these last two items are more of the unexpected and I'm not sure what I'm going to think of them items. So this one is a clock. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can move this stuff out of the way a little bit better. Um, yeah, so here we have a clock. Let me, I'm actually going to roll this backward. This one is a little bit larger than that 30 by 30. This just really intrigued me. It is a clock that is on, you know, just a canvas. And then in here, we see all of our uh, pieces for this clock. Um, I do see a bent hand right there. Let's see if I can get all these little pieces out. So here is your like motor, your driving mechanism. It does require a, just a single double A battery. This is the front side of your clock pieces. Um, we have these little delicate hands in here. One of these, when I was looking through the box, okay, this one did appear bent and it is a little bit bent on the end, but it's, it's a really delicate metal. Like I'm almost afraid I'm going to snap it, but very easy to straighten. Uh, boy. So here we have our, our, our minute hands right here. I don't know why we have two minute hands. I'm not sure how that works. And here we have two hour hands. I'm not, I don't know if these are just bonus items. I don't know. And then they even have seconds here too. So here we have two second hands. Or if we just, I th obviously they must have just given duplicates for all of them is what I have to assume. got it now guys all right so I figured it out that's not gonna work at all what um this is gonna require a little bit more brain power than what I can offer you guys right now because I don't see how this is going to, like how is the mechanism going to turn these independently? Like that doesn't make any sense. Nope. I don't know guys. So that's going to be a mystery for another day. If I do ever figure it out, I will definitely let you all know. <laughs> yeah, I am... I'm a little stumped, which, you know, that's kind of why I got this, because the whole idea kind of intrigued me. Like, I'm not sure how this exactly would work out. But here are all of your components. I might need to look this up online. Um, when eventually I figure it out, I'll let you know. But here is the canvas itself. Standard toolkit with one of these stupid tweezers, which if you know me, I hate the plastic tweezers. Talk about a waste of plastic. They don't work. I don't I don't like them. But here are all of the drills. And that's part of the reason why 
I fell in love with this idea is look at these drills. Look at these guys. These are so pretty. Oh, here's another one of those like kind of cool beveled ones. Oh, okay. So love, love, love the drills. I kind of liked the color scheme here. Now let's measure this. Because I was thinking that this would look really cool in a shadow box, right? So it is 30 by 30. It is a full 30 by 30. Um, which means, you know, you should be able to find a shadow box that would fit this really, really well. Um, if you can figure out the clock mechanism. Like I said, I've never done this before. I've never done anything with clocks before. I'm brand new. And so I'm a little bit baffled, but I'll figure it out anyway. I just thought this was kind of cool and very unique. Like I said, this item was definitely a little bit outside of the box for me, but we'll move that aside. And then the last item is not at all related with diamond painting, but it was really cute. So this is a little brooch. Uh, in case you're not aware, which the name of my channel should make it pretty obvious, but um, Knits for Sanity, I obviously love to knit. And I saw this cute little brooch available and I thought, you know, I wonder how this will go. Um, it is a little interesting. So the wood here is split. which really should not be the case. All right, but I have here a shawl that I'm currently working on, but I thought it might be easier to try and show this with a very recently begun item as opposed to try and get an entire shawl here. But you know, typically how these work is you come up through your shawl this is a really fat pen. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna like this because the only place that I feel safe putting it through would be where I have two eyelets in a row. Um, this might not be a good, that, I mean, you have to do it like this, but like I said, I want it to be where two eyelids are perfectly lined up, which is not going to be easy. I mean, you're rarely going to be able to have that <laughs> with a knitted piece. Let's see here. But I want to show you. All right. So you put him down and then you put this up and you put it back down through. I did have eyelids lined up there. Ah. One eyelet, I think I got it lined up there, like that. There you go. <laughs> so this is how it works. He is really, really cute. Um, I would say definitely be careful with this. This is, it is sanded, so it's not a completely rough edge, but it's not completely smooth. Um, also, this wood is split, which... It almost looks like it's intentional, but I don't know why that would be the case. That doesn't make any sense. So, um, and then if you have a tight weave, this is really, really fat. And that could damage your work. But if you have, if you have a shawl that does have a very open lacy pattern to it, this would be really cute. I mean, he looks adorable sitting there doesn't he? That's really, really cute. And if you could actually, um, you know, like I said, this is not actually such a good example. If I can do it though, if I can get three eyelets in a row to line up, then it will look like he has a big round belly. Wait, okay, here we go. Here we go. I, I have three. Let's get All right, so here's the one. All right, and then going over two eyelets. Ooh. 
Okay. But now I think you can kind of see how, you know, the more that you can put in there, the bigger his belly is going to look. So, I mean, it is really, really cute. Just, my, I would caution, be very, very careful using this brooch. But it is really cute. And I wanted to try something a little bit different, show off something else that GBFKE offers. So, that, I mean, it is really darling looking. <laughs> it is super duper cute. So, yeah, just um, definitely use caution with it. Um but it is cute. All right, so that is everything. That is my little haul from GBFKE. They also have a Facebook group that you can go and check out. Um, I did put up an image of it at the beginning of this video. At least I hope that I remember that I put up an image of it at the beginning of this video. And I will also link to that in my notes or comments, not my comments, but my notes description section. Um, but yeah, so I'm really pleased. Some of these things are kind of surprising, like the clock with no instructions and the fact that I'm just too dumb to just like figure this out easily on my own. <laughs> uh, and other things were really, I mean, a really pleasant surprise. These bookmarks, I'm actually very pleased with. I think this size is, even though it seems very large, I think it actually is really very, very good. Um, and of course, my Christmas painting is really cute. This brooch is darling. Just definitely use caution when using it. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for stopping in. And like I always say, please practice kindness. You never know what someone's going through. So just be kind. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day. I'll see you again real soon.